you gonna help me do it? Are you gonna help me or are you just gonna get in the way? Help me. Yeah, right, do you wanna get your step? Okay. It's there. A little Christmas edition for you. Right, we're gonna make this video for Charlene. Say hi, Charlene. Hi, Charlene. So, we're gonna teach you how to make Yorkshire puddings. Can you say that? Make Yorkshire, Yorkshire puddings. puddings. Lovely. Right, so what do we need? What's that? Egg. How many do we have? One. One egg. And we have plain flour. 35 grams. Want you want to see the plain flour? 35 grams. 35 grams. Lovely. And we've got 50 milliliters ow, 50 milliliters of milk. 50 million milk. <laughs> What's this? Sugar. Salt. Salt. Don't use sugar. What's this? Uh, you don't mm. like this? I put uh, this on pasta sometimes. What is uh, it? I don't know. Black pepper. Black pepper. Okay, so the amount that we're going to mix up it's either going to fit four little ones, it's, like, little it's ones. like a little muffin oh, tray, okay. there you go, it's over there, or if you've got a bigger, shallower one, you get two big ones out of that, so it's up to you what you want to do. Right, you need another jug. Another this, is, jug. this is not a brilliant angle, is it? But anyway, go on, right, so, you've got to tip your 35, gra 35 grams of plain flour in, no, not into that one, into this one. Whee! Okay. No, Chase isn't diving in there because oh. it's going to get all flowery. Yeah. So 35 grams of plain flour in there. Do you uh. want to crack the egg? Cracky. Right, now then, gently hold it nice and firm. Oh, give it a whack. Yeah. <laughs> right, wait, uh, let me do this bit so we don't get loads of shell in there. So you're putting your flour. You can sift the flour if you want to. I don't bother. Some people do. Uh, oh. Crack your egg into there. Oh, don't eat raw egg, mate. And then we need to whisk these together. Oh, do it. Okay, you whisk those together. Wee, eggy, give it, give it eggy, a good stir. Eggy, eggy. Give it a good stir. It's going to be stiff and lumpy, but you just want to combine them as much as you can. It sort of looks a bit like this as you're doing it, which is fine. It's going to look pasty and lumpy. Pasty. Right. Do you want to add the milk or do you want to keep stirring? If you're adding the milk, this will slowly wait for instructions. So, hang on, let me move that over. So you want to add this really slowly, gradually, <laughs> little bit at a time, please. And then you, what you'll see, I've, this is the first time I've used this whisk, because my other one broke. Right, a bit more, please, B. Gradually, slowly, slowly. That's it. Whoop, that'll be. That'll be. Right. And you'll see that your batter will really quickly smooth up okay keep going B keep going let's get those 50 mils of milk in there slowly 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 right <laughs> okay keep mixing you can't see the Christmas reindeer ears can they not ears what are they called antlers there we go okay right a bit more okay okay that's it, keep it coming now, keep it coming, keep it coming, keep it coming, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. Lovely, right. Thanks, you put that on tight. Okay, so it's quite, it's quite, it's not a thick batter like you would probably want for your pancakes. Um, you want to see, you can season it as much as you want to, basically. I You want to do it? Oh. That's it. Whoa, probably not that much. Right, just show that to the camera on teeny, teeny tiny Brecken hands. I'm just going to take a little pinch off of that, and then you, and then I want you to put the put the rest in the jug. Set, set. Oh, we didn't wash your hands. Gross. Um, and again with the pepper, we don't put too much pepper in because Brecken doesn't really like pepper. So, but you can put as much if you like. If you want a really spicy, peppery. Oh, I'm going to lose my camera. If you want a really spicy, peppery. Right, sidekick. So want a really spicy, peppery one. No, you don't. Then you just add more pepper. All right, that needs to go in the fridge now while you do everything else, okay? The longer you can cool it, the better, because what you want to do is you want a real extreme temperature change when you put your mix yeah. when you put your batter mixture into your hot oil, okay? That's it for now. No, we're not making cakes. No, we're making Yorkshire puddings. Right, 
Do you reckon? Are we going to make two big ones or four little ones? Four little ones. Four little ones. That's the big one, remember? Uh-huh. We could get two big whoppers out of that. <laughs> <laughs> or, one, two, three, or four. four. Li or four little ones. No, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I know there's six holes, but I've only done enough mixture for four. What are we having, big ones or little ones? Uh, little. Uh, little ones? Okay, right, cool. So this is the important bit then. So then what you need is you need your oven oh. at, whoa, watch out. Your oven at 210 degrees. Why um. you pout? Not you. Why are you pouting? Don't pout. Don't pout. Don't hang off my leg. And then you need some sunflower oil. Now this is the tricky bit for me because I'm going to try and show you. I don't know if I can flip the camera while it's What's recording. That? No, I can't. So, that's potato. You just want to line... You just want to line the bottom. I can't, you can't see that, can you? Just want to line the bottom with sunflower oil. It's important that you use sunflower oil and not olive oil. Olive oil won't get to the right temperature. So just line the bottom with but, three, four. Where's the camera? There it is. Okay, so just don't over oil, all right? And then you just want to whack that in. Watch out then, bud. Let me put that back down there. Watch out then, bud. Then you just want to whack that in your oven to get hot. Because the secret is to have really hot oil. Don't touch that. That's um. I want. No, not the nice though. So 210. Oh, I someone sent me a message, some, which is messed with my I video. Kill some carrots for me. Well, you can do the carrots. Right. Get your oil nice and hot. Okay. So you've got your um, oil. Hot in the oven, getting hot. Get this out of the fridge, give it another mix, mix it back up, get it ready. Now I'm hoping that this is going to sizzle, but it might not. We'll see. Right, reckon out of the way, please. Right out of the way. Right out of the way. Over there. All the way over there. That's it. Don't want little boys near hot oil. Okay, so oh, it's looking good. It's a bit smoky. Smoky is good. Which is why we've had to sh we've had to shut the door, haven't we? So we don't set the smoke alarm off. Right, we're hoping for a little sizzle, and then you just basically want to. Oh, little sizzle. Did you hear that? Little sizzle. You want to evenly distribute. Whoa, what are you doing over here? Hey, eh? Evenly distribute. And then they go back in the oven. Sizzling away. At 210. Smoky, smoky, smoky. Now, you can't open the door now. So don't open that door. You have to have a little peek, but through the glass. All right, keep an eye on them. 20 to 25 minutes. I reckon 20 minutes. Okay, so these have been in for 18 minutes. My phone's gone really glitchy, so I've that do. And... ta -da! That's hot. Done. Enjoy, let me know how you get on.